It may be 2019, but let's party like it's 1979 and bring some punk rock into your website design. I'm convinced that in 2019 and 2020, we're going to see a whole lot of designers taking inspiration for the web from the punk rock designs of the 1970s and 80s. In this video, I'm going to cover a couple of CSS properties that are going to allow you to introduce a little teeny tiny bit of punk rock into your designs in a clean way so that you can start taking your first baby steps into this new world. Let's go ahead and get started in the code. So here's the finished product. We have a stripe with a gradient. It is at an angle and the text inside of it feels like it's still on that plane. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to a code view. And you can see this is our starting point. We have kind of an average stripe on the web, a little bit of padding top and bottom, a little padding left and right. And then you can see I've already just set up a, a linear gradient for the background. And we have very, very simple HTML to accomplish this. We have a stripe, we have a container for our content, an H1 and a paragraph tag inside. So we're gonna start by using transforms in CSS. And transforms, you've probably used a decent bit doing some simple animations, but they're also great for static content as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually rotate the angle of our stripe. And to do that, we're gonna introduce a transform and the syntax is just transform colon. And then you can put in any of a number of transformation methods. And what we're gonna use is the rotate method. And that takes a couple of parentheses there. And then we're going to, inside of that rotate method, put either a turn or a degree. And so in this case, we're gonna use degrees and we're gonna rotate this negative five degrees. And that's gonna give us that direction that we want. And now you can see around our edges, we have some white space that's creeping in, some awkward white space on the left and at the top right up there. And you can also notice that we are now going off the screen up top. So to fix parts of this, we are going to introduce the skew method inside of our transform as well. Now it's important to note, we don't want to come down here and add a new transform property that will actually overwrite our rotation. So if I save this in, you can see we no longer have that rotate five degrees. We only have the skew. And so instead of doing that, we're going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to add this to our transform property and it will be space delimited. So if I put a space here and then say skew negative five degrees, that will actually stack on top of our, of our rotation. And we will see that we now have uh, hard edges on the left and right. They just, those degrees have to match up. Now, it might not bother you, and in fact, it might even be good for your use case to have the text be at this angle, but it, it kind of bothers my designer eye to have a little white space gap here and to have this kind of be a little harder to read. And so to do that, we're actually going to unskew our text, and we're gonna do that by introducing a new declaration down here, and we're gonna say this is going to be uh, inside of our stripe, directly descendant of that stripe, anything inside of it, we're now going to unskew the text. And so we can actually use that transform property again, transform, and we're gonna skew this as well. And instead of doing a negative five degree skew, we're actually gonna do the same number, but we're gonna have it be a positive five, and that text pops back and stays on the alignment of our rotated stripe. And now you're gonna to wanna to have some margins in here as well, so we can just go ahead and toss a margin top, uh, let's call it, maybe uh, five rem, and that should bump us down far enough that it is now within that. One thing to keep in mind with all transforms is that the transform doesn't actually move the box of the element from your browser. So the box for the, for the element is still technically a straight edged piece up at the top. And so we actually want to move that uh, margin top down to make it make more sense down here. Now you could very easily, instead of using margin top, we could keep this in our transforms and we could say translate Y and have that be that same, uh, what was it, five rem. And that's going to move it down the page five rem as opposed to introducing a margin which might stack on margins above it. So in this way, we can use that one singular transform property to do all of our work for us. And that's going to be rotation to make the angle. 
we're gonna use skew to bring the corners of our angle back to being straight lines. And then we're gonna translate Y to push it down. And don't forget, if you want your stripes content to be unskewed, all you have to do is any child element of that stripe, transform skew positive five degrees. So that's it, that's really all it takes to get a little bit of punk rock into your design in this modern age. And we can do a whole lot more than that and I'm gonna be covering that in future videos. So I hope you got something out of the video today. And I know that it is not very punk rock of me to ask, but if you could hit that subscribe button down below or that share button and let your friends know that they too can introduce some punk rock into their designs. And if you like this video, be sure to check out my other videos I have on this channel covering things like CSS Grid, CSS After Elements, and even a little sass. See you next time.